Where is she? Mary? <gasps> No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? LaCour's hand is. That's fucking crazy. I told you. I'm Maria. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh, yeah. Three years ago. But I got a letter from her. 11, uh, 1126, yes, she did just wax him. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? That, this game's well, it's so sad like too, I guess the one on the I don't I don't want to say too much I but yeah Jesus there. the Lakeview hotel yeah it's still there so the hotel was your special place huh I'll bet it was don't get so mad I was just joking anyway it's not that way it's this way You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like... Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? <laughs> or maybe... You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. Fucking Maria. Oh, she's... She's... She's such a strange, like, fascinating character in this game. And, like, if you know, and, like, she's... If you kind of watch her, like, she's constantly flipping between these two modes where, like, she's really supportive and caring to James and just being so horrible to him. And it's really... It's messed up to watch, like it's really bizarre. Um Yeah, you Maria is a big part of this game and she's a big part of what I think is so amazing about this game. I just think like as a character she's really just strange and different to anything else. Where are we going? Where are we going? I think we're going to our right. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. So, 
there's a bunch of different endings you can get for this game, and one of them is determined by how close you get to Maria. Like, like physically, if you stay close to her and you make sure she's okay, it'll add points to a different kind of ending. And that ending also gets, like, um... That ending also goes down if you bump into her a lot or you hurt her. I'm not going for any particular ending in this run, so I don't really care. But, yeah. I think there's a really nice bit here in Pete's Bolorama as well. I fucking love this game, guys. I love it so much. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back, okay? Uh, the bowling alley is like one of my favorite interiors in this game. Like, you'll see it. This is such a cool cutscene. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fatso. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were out for you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? Because that's not how life hello, hello, works, Laura, you tiny moron. No good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's your name? Mary? Like, I just really love all the care that's been kind of put into, like, just all the little tables and the bowlins and like ugh. I think that song is alone in town. This is one of my favorite songs in the soundtrack. Eddie? Oh. Um you're James. We met in the apartment building? Yeah, I remember. But uh... are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. I love that shot. Bye bye. Wait, come back, Eddie. Let's go after her. Huh? Laura? But why? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. <laughs> I don't think there's anywhere to save in here. Who is that girl, anyhow? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. I like that you can, like, run down right to the end. I think it's kind of fun. And Oh, is there something down here? There totally is. There's handgun bullets. I never realized that before because whenever I was playing this on PlayStation, it's always like it was too low res to see James's head at this distance. So that's really fun. Listen to that music. This is the most pleasant the game ever gets. Like, mood-wise, this is the nicest the game is. Once we leave here, it all goes to fucking shit after this. Oh, listen to that bit. So chill. I want to see if we can go back out real quick. I don't think we can. 
because I know it's a plot point later on that you abandon Mary, and so I want to see. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Oh. Aren't you gonna go after her? She went through there. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. It's no good. It's locked. Marie's animation for this lock picking scene is really weird. It's funny. Oh, Jesus, I forgot that she fucking just spawns in everywhere. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game as well. It's really beautiful. Oh, is that the way out? Yeah, it is. this bar it's like it's it's one of the it's one of the coolest environments in the whole game i think if you turn off the light it's like you can see like the pink lights affecting the characters and it's it's just so cool <laughs> as in i don't know how to pronounce that ensign rivers is every track your favorite track not all of them just the really like nice chill ones and this is one of them. My favorite track is probably Theme of Laura. Just a regular stage. There's nothing strange about it. I... Mm, hmm. I, I don't know about that, James, buddy. But yeah, this is one of those environments that I could just hang out in forever. Like, it's so... Like, look, all those bottles are like... They're all models and crafted themselves. And it's it's just so cool. Taco, no problem, dude. Um, always happy to make, you know, videos that, like, get people into things. Gant the Gantz video is tough in a lot of ways. Like, it, 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 it was a difficult video to... Oh, shit, we're at the hospital. So, immediately, we're in the hospital section. And this section's kind of cool because, like, you actually go around it with Maria. Like, she follows you room to room. You're meant to, like, protect her from, like, monsters and stuff. It's it's kind of janky and hard, too, because this game is janky and hard. But what's going to happen in this Let's Play is at some point, I'm going to go into a room and Maria is going to accidentally scare the shit out of me because the way they place her in every room is, like, really spooky and frightening. I don't think we have a map yet. Let me just re-familiar myself. Oh, we do have a map. Awesome. 
And look at all these lovely, beautiful rooms we've got to explore. Let's get that mouse cursor the fuck out the way. Um, no game audio, game sound, yeah. No sound, okay. Mm -mm. Let me just hop over to OBS for a second. I think I lowered the... Uh, okay, so there's no audio right now. I'll just walk around a little bit and you guys should be able to hear the footsteps and we'll adjust as we go. So you guys should be hearing that. Let me know if that's all right. Mm -mm -mm. I started watching, re watching Skins after Brian mentioned it on the podcast and I have to agree that show totally has so much heart. Yeah, hell yeah, Rami Bop. I, I love that show. Quiet, still nothing. We got footsteps. Okay, yeah, that's all there is. I might just turn it up a little bit and we could turn it down if that's a problem. Oh, audio meddling. Okay, uh, if that's too much, we will adjust later. So there's no, there's no sound right now except footsteps, but when some music comes, got ourselves a health drink, got ourselves some weapons. Okay, okay, let's go do this. Um, okay, this shit. See? That's fucked up. Why would they put Maria there for any other reason in that they just want to scare the shit out of you? Like, and I knew that bit was coming. There's other bits I'm not going to know. Something is written on it. The potential for the illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders of where reality and unreality intersect. It is a, pa it is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist, but sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that it's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind, but to him, there is simply no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by Hans. I got the key from Joseph, it's probably the key to that box. Okay, so already that raises this fucking super interesting quandary that like, you know, a lot of games won't really touch. And that's like, if someone is like insane, if someone's crazy, are you not just better off letting them be crazy like and letting them kind of exist in their own delusion? Um, and that's a question that's very relevant to this game for Reasons that will come up later. Uh, um, let me just... Space Line from the Discord asks, How's your Friday going, Josh? Uh, you know what? It's pretty good. Um, only complaint is I injured myself in training last Monday and I haven't been able to go back since. And that's kind of a bummer because um, Jiu-Jitsu is kind of my main way of interacting with people like just casually now because like I do all my work from home and everything's from home and like unless I'm going to kind of meet up with friends which like I do every week or whatever I don't get a whole lot of chance to like just casually hang out with people which is not something really isn't something I thought I'd miss um but now that I've been working at home for three years like I really miss it and like it's weird the shit you miss because it's like small talk and stuff and I hated small talk when, when, I, when I was working like an office job or a job in animation. But you really miss it now when you kind of lose it, you know? And jujitsu is like a really good way for me to kind of meet people and just kind of hang out and stuff. And being inside all week kind of sucks for that reason. But um, it's locked, shit's locked. Can't open the door open. But um, I'm hoping my back's gonna be ready. Okay, see? See? Why did they put her there? Why would they put her there? Let's go down. Okay. Can I go down to the basement? Okay, let's let's not head anywhere yet. Let's keep exploring. Um. <laughs> uh, shoot. Shersha. 
John, you beautiful man, has anyone ever said you look like a pastier, friendlier guts? That has come up a couple of times. Maybe not the pastier, friendlier part, but yeah, occasionally someone will be like, especially in the face reveal for that first video, people were like, oh my god, you look like guts, um, which is a massive compliment to me, because guts sure is a beautiful slab of a man. Oh shit, did we just get a... Da, 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 da. Um, Gibilarino Bellino donated $10. Thank you so much, dude. Holy shit. I think that's like the biggest donation I've ever gotten on Twitch. Thank you, man. That's incredibly appreciated. Um, I will, I will check out your message in a little bit. This, this is a pretty ill-functioning hospital. Everything is locked. And I don't... Personally, the sanitary conditions here wouldn't meet my own high personal bar. I must say. Like, I, I really must say that. Um, okay, let's try going to the ladies' bathroom. Uh, don't anyone clip that moment out of context. Area, down to the kitchen. Nope, we ain't getting in nowhere. So, then we go to the emergency room and then we can head up to the second floor. Uh, you guys should be hearing like a low, um, a kind of low hum. Uh, let me know if you can hear that because again, like a big part of this game is the ambient sound and I just want to make sure that you guys can hear it and that I'm not like drowning it out or not that I have it too low okay first floor fucking nothing waste of goddamn time um Shersha so, are you on the way to becoming the Yojiro Hanma with your jiu-jitsu training? Uh, <laughs> guys, I get fucking killed in jiu-jitsu. Like, I am still- like, I'm, I'm- I'm a white belt. Oh, Lem- Lemma Lime donated three dollars. Oh god, oh god! Sorry, Lemma Lime, I- I'll read your message in a moment. Oh, Jesus! Uh, um, uh, ladies, ladies, please, please, that's enough. Oh god, oh god, oh- Ugh. Ma'am, ma'am, please calm down. Please calm down. That's enough. Oh god, stop. No, ma'am, please. Ugh. Ugh. Down you go. <sighs> okay, so that's our bobblehead nurses. Uh, they're a really famous design from Silent Hill 2. If you see other Silent Hill, um, media and the bobblehead nurses are there they fucking shouldn't be because there's oh, that noise uh, they're really specific to um they're really specific to silent hill 2 oh let me just silence that son bitch okay um open. Well, God, fucking, oh, I knew it. I knew that would happen. <sighs> There's a magnesium going not do me any good right now. There's something inside the p p pocket of this white lab jacket. Got the examination room key. Awesome. Uh, that's kind of one of those things that I don't love about Silent Hill 2 because I feel like it would have been very easy to miss that key and there's not really a whole lot unless you're just going to click on every random wall of this room. It's not really a whole lot to indicate that there's something there. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's part of, that's the kind of old school game design that maybe has aged not the best, but I mean, look, it's a minor quibble and you can get by a grand with a guide, but I think that has actually like stone. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh! <sighs> Fucking Maria. Okay. What we got? What we got? Okay. Okay. No, that's just an elevator. I'm just gonna. Just gonna have a little. Pe oh, God damn it! 
Oh. Um. Let's not. Let's just not deal. Oh God. God, I hate this fucking hospital. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay. I should take care of those guys because I don't want to be keep dealing with them. Let's um. Let's get our trusty pipe out. Let's chug some health drinks. Did you ever get like kind of fucked up by a fight? And then you just like pound a bunch of health drinks and you feel fine. Because I do. Ah, okay. I'm going to bring out the pistol. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Uh, I don't like to use that much uh, pistol shit. But if it's more than one enemy, it's like... Oh, shit, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Zippy Nopi asks, Hi, are you going to make a JoJo Part 5 video? December 23rd, 2019. I advertised that fact one year ago on my YouTube channel. Plans have not changed. Uh, let's equip some pipe. Are you ever going to make a video episode for the podcast? Uh, uh, uh. Paranormal playwright, um, but John, you don't get that scared of video games. I know I don't, which like, you know, I say this every time, but it kind of just makes these streams sort of pointless, because I'm just, I'm too fucking cool, and I just, it's like, oh no, a, a spooky ghost, like, and I know that kind of makes it uninteresting, because like, there's no, like, emotional reaction for me, because I'm just like, kind of, kind of like a stone cold killer, you know, that kind of way, but, um... You know, I appreciate people putting up with that regardless. Okay, look. Where's Maria? Where's fucking Maria? Did they put her on the other side of this camera cut to make shit really fucking spooky and scary? Yes, they did! Oh. Nice. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. I got the bent needle. Just a normal stuffed animal. There's nothing else. Locker won't open. What are you looking at, James? James, what are you looking at? Are you looking at the teddy? What are you looking at, James? Mm-mm. I th it's, it's difficult with the head shit sometimes because I don't know maybe he's just I think he's just looking at the teddy bear okay let's get out of here where else are we going so we're going out okay um there's some areas of the hospital that are like pretty dense with enemies and it gets a little tricky but you also have the shotgun now so they're not that much of a big deal I will say the shotgun in Silent Hill feels nowhere near as good as the shotgun from Resident Evil but I guess it's also kind of not meant to, do you know what I mean? Like, nothing about Silent Hill is meant to feel good. And I respect, I respect that about the game. Like, it's, it's an unpleasant experience top to bottom. Okay, let's head down here and try to the left. Got some handgun bullets. See if we can get into the day room. Nope. Got ourselves a nice fat medikit. There's a typewriter here. I've got no use for this. Wait a minute. What's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. You can still read the imprint left on it. I know it, I know the number of the box, 4587, it can help, it can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am, is who I am, is who I am, is. 
And I think that might be all that's in this room. Nothing interesting. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Oh, there was... Is something coming? Oh, I, I don't like this. Ah, uh, okay, no. Oh, I hate these fucking nurses. Um, oh, gunner pipe, gunner pipe. I'm going in with the pipe. Oh, they also have pipe. Please, ma'am, just, that's enough. Pipe duel, pipe duel. Hell yeah, I beat up these two decrepit zombies myself. That was that was pretty good. Um uh, no pressure, I'm curious if you're making a favorite thing summer video. Uh leave that with me. We'll we'll see how we go. Okay, what we got? Got the lapis eye key, got the shotgun shells. Cool, cool. And I think that's maybe everything. get turned around shit 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 okay it's only one we can take her we can take her there we go it's all right it's okay got the handgun bullets um Shusha AD, John, remind me, did you ever give your extended thoughts on Devil Man Cry Baby? Uh, I've never done a video on it or anything, if that's what you're talking about. My extended thoughts are like, yeah, I really like that show, and it was a good looking show, and it was super exciting to see something like that that was so different and had like its own distinctive art style. And um, that's really, I feel like, all I have to say about it. Like, I. The show didn't hit me on any super personal level, and I don't think any of my insights on it are very interesting. So, I think, like, if I was to ever do a video, it would be something I'd have to force. And that's not really what I like to do generally with videos. Ugh. Generally with videos, like, it should be something I feel like I'm, like, itchy to make. Like, it should be something that I'm, like, really fucking pumped to make and, like, can't wait to make it. Um, so I don't know if I'd ever do a proper video about it. Maybe in some other context, like, as a kind of compilation video or something that could come up. But um, yeah, that would kind of that that that'd be like my main thoughts on it. So let's see what we got here. Okay, let's check out this stairway. Nothing, nothing. Okay, back to the stairs. I think we're making some some pretty good, pretty good progress through this hospital. Room three, and yeah, yeah, we checked everything in here. Um, in the other games of Silent Hill, each oh, that's really creepy how she's just like in the corner like that. God damn, Maria. In the other games of Silent Hill, every environment has well, in in one, two, and three, or in one and three, every environment has like two states, which is like the hell version and the normal version, and um. Silent Hill 2 is different because Silent Hill 2, the town is just the town. And I actually really, I think I prefer that. Um, uh, fuck, 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 where are they, where are they? Uh, uh, okay, there's a nurse, we got a nurse, do we have, okay. Just the one nurse, okay, let's go take her out. There you go. Okay, there's another one. Oh crap, the first one's alive again, oh no. Oh, bad, bad news. Oh, please, ma'am, just go down. Please go down, please go down. <sighs> okay, okay, we're good. Shit's locked. Um... Paranormal playwright, but there's a second state for the hospital and in the final area. Is there? Maybe I'm misremembering. 
But I thought they did away with all the like, um, all the kind of other world shit in this game. But I could be wrong. I guess we'll see. Oh, did we get the memo for that, or was that a safe? Let's have a quick look. Imprint on the carbon paper. Number of the box. That's the number of the box. So I don't think that's it. Four, five, eight, seven. Let's give it a try. But I don't think that's the. I think that's like a safe. Uh, four. No. Okay. What else we got? Day room. Okay. Let's check the day room ship. Got ourselves a fat first aid kit. Okay. Oh, got turned around. Something fierce there. And that's going to do it for floor three for the minute. Um, special treatment room. I don't think we can get in there yet. Uh, we can't get in there. Okay. Excuse me. Shit's locked. Okay. So we got two keys. So let's figure this out. Where are we going? Uh, we need to pound some health drinks. Bang. Rusty bent needle, it's stuck in stuffed animal, locker room. I can't remember what we're meant to do with that. I think it's like some pain in the ass, super obscure puzzle, but we shall see. Um, interesting, Golden Kamui. Uh, Gravelord Potato asks, I recall you mentioning reading Golden Kamui on the podcast. You're still reading it? I actually fell off somewhere along the way, but um, not for any particular reason. I just kind of got distracted. I'd like to go back to it because, yeah, that's a cool one. Examination room key found in the pocket of the white lab coat. So examination room key, purple gold bowl key, that's in document room, and lapis key. Okay, let's head back down to the first floor and see if we can't get some shit going down there. locked doctor's lounge hmm let's try the doctor's lounge real quick um, and since you've been playing Sand Hill 2 have you seen the what happened with Matt McMuscles made on Sand Hill HD remasters I have yeah it's great um, I've really been super enjoying Matt's shit with what happened I think um in the last couple of videos especially, he's like really found like, I guess like his voice with video essays. Like I think there's a kind of confidence to his stuff now that maybe wasn't there before. And I I really am excited to see what way he takes that and just what other shit he does, you know. Um, I hung out with Matt a fair bit when I went to Montreal and he is just the sweetest dude. Like he is so lovely and he's one of those people that I get like really sad that I don't get more of a chance to hang out with him. Um, examination room. Huh. Okay, yeah, we'll keep looking around. Fuck. Ah, oh, that- you weren't here before. Okay, we're gonna- we're gonna try, try and take her down, not take any damage. So... Here we go, here we go, come on, take a swing, come on, whoa, no you don't, no, damn it, damn it, oh, God damn it. there we go, examination room, okay, we didn't check back there, Mm -mm. 
option. So I don't think it's anywhere down here. Hmm. What are we doing? Uh, just to watch says have any collaboration plans with Matt uh no um that's not a me and Matt thing that's just a me thing in general um like not to sound like an arsehole but just generally I've never really met anyone who I felt like a need to collaborate with especially on video essay stuff um I just I don't really see the point in it like I get that it would mean that I get some of their audience and they get some of my audience. And I know that's good for us, but I don't know how that benefits the people who watch my videos, you know? Like, um, so whenever I, oh God damn it. Okay, okay, let's do this. Whoa! Oh God damn it. Those nurses aren't actually too tough to take out. They're kind of fine. Whoa, they do a fair bit of damage though. Let's let's eat that up. Um yeah, so like cuz how like I'm kind of like how would that work for me because I feel like like would I have to write a script keeping in mind that they like someone else would be on it? And if I did, I feel like maybe I would lose the kind of personal touch to the videos then as well and so I'm just it's never been an idea that's gotten me especially excited now that said like um when I meet someone I feel like I have a lot of chemistry with I I'm up for doing shit with them like a great example oh, oh it's fucking game um a great example to that would be woolly versus no that's not that um like I don't know if any of you guys watched that Mystical Ninja LP we did. It just, it was so fun to do and it felt like, it felt like such, it just felt kind of right. And I kind of knew from that point on that like making content with Wooly was always going to be fun to do. And because of that, it was probably always going to be fun to watch as well. And like, you know, maybe this is for, like, a lot of LPs, but when I looked at the comments of that video, you know, so many people were like, oh, this is my favorite LP, or this is stuff like that. And so that's kind of my guiding philosophy, I guess, with, like, collaborating with people. I don't really do video essays because it's never felt right. But, like, if someone wants to do an L uh, LP or even a podcast or stuff, I'm usually down, you know, I'm usually up for that. Can I get the door open? Is that Man, we're, we're kind of shut down. Let's see, where are we going? Examination room. So that's the examining room. So there must, we have an examination room key, so there must be an examination room that's locked. Let's try upstairs. Uh, uh, uh. Do you know what happened to Gone in a minute? If you're talking about Gone in 60 seconds, uh, nothing happened. Uh, we live in different continents, so we can't really record more easily. Um, but if you enjoyed Gone in 60 Seconds, uh, there, there'll be more of them. We, we have some plans that, um, we kind of had a Skype call about it a while ago and, um, we got some fun, fun shit planned for Gone in 60 Seconds and I'm really, really looking forward to doing that. God damn it. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Uh, let's, okay, so what do we got? Storage room. So, I'm just letting everyone know, if I get stuck, I'm not above looking up a guide. Or if anyone, um, or if people want a backseat game, that's totally fine in this channel. Work away, like, I, I, I like to progress things. And it's less about the figuring shit out for me as much as it is. I guess just kind of experiencing the story with you guys, you know? But, um, yeah. Um, Bad Mel, have any films disappointed you this year? Uh, The Joker disappointed me a lot, I'd say. Uh, I think that film does some really cool things, but I think the general quality of the writing and the construction of the story is really poor in places, and I think parts of it felt so contrived, you know? Um, so yeah, that was a big, big disappointment for me, because I think I, I was expecting to be just, like, blown away by it, and I really, really wasn't. 
But uh, I know some people fucking love that story. I'm not one of them. I'm probably gonna talk about it more in depth on the boss cast. Examination room, storage room. Mm hmm. Hmm. Chris756 says, if I were to start watching wrestling, do you have any suggestions on where to start? Dude, I would really recommend um, checking out AEW. It's the new wrestling, it's new wrestling Federation. There is only two episodes out, so you literally have no... You, there's, like, no backlog. You can watch it on Fight TV. Um, you can pay, like, two ninety nine for an episode. Or you can just download it if you're not sure. But um, I... That's been fantastic so far. And give that a shot. A uh, buddy of mine, Jawburst, um, from the Discord, he never watched wrestling and he's been checking it out. Oh, there I see where we... Damn it, no, I don't think I do. <gasps> yeah, I do. Okay, I totally see. Yeah, we're in business, boys. When I say boys, I do mean, of course, boys and girls and whoever else. I just... Boys... Ah. Uh... <sighs> So I don't think there's anything actually in this room particularly. Shotgun shells, nice. There's Maria, being a creepy fucking asshole, but that's cool. Nothing on the desk. Let's take a look over here. To the doctor's lounge from here. Uh, I think we can open that. Now that's unlocked. Third floor patient wing hall 7335. Okay, excellent. We can now get in there. Perfect. Um. Onion Knight asks, who's the other content creator you've met in real life whose company you most enjoyed? And which celebrity did you meet that you were the biggest fan of and fanboyed after meeting? Oh, man. Um, uh, I mean, I think maybe Wooly because, like, Wooly was, like, the first YouTube person I kind of met and became friends with. And, like, I was super fucking nervous. Met him at MAGFest, like, two years ago. But him and Liam were just like the nicest guys in the world to me and like they really kind of I'm not gonna say took me under their wing but like they knew that I think they knew that I was kind of new to this shit and they were just really really cool to me um really hit it off with my always love to see Jeff uh mother's basement he's just like he is one of the nicest guys in the world. Um, H-bomber guy now I only met H-bomb once and we just went for um we just had like brunch and hung out for a couple of hours, but he was just, he was so fucking lovely, you know? And I was really worried, worried meeting that guy because he's a big influence on my stuff. And like, I think his, you know, his the, the quality of his content is so high. I remember like walking up, like really shitting myself. And then when I met him, what really put me at ease is like, after a couple of seconds, I kind of realized he was as nervous as I was. And so it was like, but then we, we just like got on super well and um it's kind of thing where like what one thing I kind of like about this job is sometimes like you have these friends and you don't know what continent you're going to meet them on again, you know? Like um you know, I've met Wooly in Canada, I've met him in America, I've met him in, like all over the place and you genuinely never know where you're going to run into someone again. Another friend of mine, Magma, is um like that i've seen him in so many different cons all i've seen him at anime expo i've seen him at con bravo i've seen him at um magfest and it's like it's really cool then when you meet someone and it's like oh fuck you know it's been so long and it was like a different continent but you get to hang out so yeah i don't know honestly too i've met too many cool people to really be able to say which one's my favorite but they've all been like They've all been great in their own way, and honestly, I know I say it and it sounds corny as shit, but, like, the friends I've made, had it's it's my favorite part of this job by far. But, yeah. Anyway, that's enough corny shit. Let's get, let's get back to the spookers. Um, what was that number again? Imprint on carbon paper. Number written on whiteboard. 
7335. Cool. Uh, drag this cursor over. 7. There we go. Okay, we got no ghosters yet. We just have... Oh. Oh, I think I hear a ghoster. Oh, here comes something. Here comes something. Okay, there's no other way it can come from but here. Come on out, you fucking ghost. Okay, there's a ghoster. There's a ghoster. Okay, we're just gonna beat its head in. Yep, you see me and I see you. Let's do this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, James, the overhead swing, James, the overhead swing. No, stop doing that. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a tough ghoster. <gasps> okay. Okay, let's enter this day room. Let's not enter this day room. Uh, let's try the rest room. Is the rest room different to like the toilet? You yanks, fucking rest room. You don't rest in there. So we call it the shitter in Ireland. Locks broke. Locks broke. Just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <clears throat> so comfy. I don't believe you, Maria. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Got the roof key. Cool, cool. Okay, so... We're just going to leave Maria in this fucking nightmare, and that's fine. It's totally cool to leave a defenseless lady alone in this perfectly safe hospital. Good, good decision, James. Uh, fuck. Okay, no, I'm just going to take, take, take that thing out, because it's just going to bother me the entire time. Come on, you fucking ghost! Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fi I don't like it, I don't like it! No, J overhead James, overhead! Come on, down you go, down you go! Oh, okay, okay, we're fine. Nope. Nope. Oh, 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 it's fucking game. Look at it just like looming there in the distance. Oh, I don't... Okay. Come on, do your little attack so I can punch you. Come on, come on. Ah, god damn it. I, I always feel like really bad killing those things because they're like the least, I don't know sentient of anything they just seem like they're in pain all the time like they, they, it's nearly like they don't know that they're attacking you which i think is really kind of sad man a whole lot of nothing on this floor drink yeah we actually haven't saved in a little while Just to watch asks, have you ever played Hollow Knight? I have, and holy shit, that is a good game. I love that game. Um, it was one of those games, I never got it until I actually played it, and the moment I started playing it, it just clicked. Uh, uh, okay, okay, just, just the one. 
Just the one. Ugh, okay. 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 Yes! Okay. Come on, James. Keep going. Yeah, fucking world champion, James Sunderland. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. And... Oh, yeah, this is that box you have to find a bunch of different shit to. And I think we might already have some of that. There's something written on the wall. Louise, I'll take care of you forever. It's my destiny. I'll take care of you forever. What does that mean again? Okay, so one of these is going to be that note we found. So let's just get that going real quick. Uh, 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 number on whiteboard. Is this it? No, that was the thing to the other thing. Imprints on carbon paper. 4587. Um, four. A oh, shit. Five. Eight. Seven. Huh, that must not be it. That's one. I think one of them might be that lapis key, maybe. Let's give that a go. No, I can't use that here. Hell yeah. One more to go. Let's see if it's four. It is not. Which is good, because that would have been stupid as fuck. Hey, Rami Bop, yes, James is a funny fellow. Ugh. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, let's check those other rooms and then let's just skedaddle on out of here. There's something stuck in the drain pipe. The hole is too small. I can't get my hand inside to reach it. Maybe if I had a long, narrow tool of some kind, that's gonna be that needle. Hell yeah, I'm a fucking genius. It isn't long. If any of the mods are in the chat, uh, just make it so people can't clip that moment. Just edit it like out of the stream in hindsight as well. Uh, I just kind of kind of have like an image to maintain. And I just I kind of I don't need anything like that. Um, anyone in the chat, if you mention it, you're 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 banned. Okay, uh, Sportrix, uh, big brush dish. Both you guys saying oof. You're gone. You're gone. Um. Madva, your bans, uh, guys. I don't have time to manually ban you, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I call an honor ban, which is where I tell you you're banned, and you honor that by just leaving the stream and never watching anything I do ever again. So you guys are all honor banned. Uh, Alt one five two three. I see you're laughing. You're honor banned. Um, the critic king. Hua, I saw nothing. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I am gonna have to honor ban you as well. Um, Sport tricks, I did not say oof. Liar, okay, calling me a liar, you're honor banned. So yeah, you know what? Everyone in the chat right now, just honor ban, you're all honor banned. Uh, I wanna start fresh with a new audience, so thank you for coming, but I am going to ask you to uphold the honor ban. So um, I, know, I know it's rough, but I don't see any other way around this. So yeah, yeah, everyone honor banned. now yeah harban john how could you uh, look guys I, I like i don't make the rules to this shit you know i just when whenever 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 i kind of this will be a lesson to you all to not fuck with me cuz you just get honor banned immediately you know and there's just nothing there's nothing we, i can do about it you know like i i have to defend myself and honor banning is the best thing i can do oh there's a really good note up here actually Is there anything else up here before we go over there? Oh, Jesus! Okay, I... Oh! Uh. 
That triangle faced motherfucker. <sighs> I. There's a note on the top roof, and I thought the key triggers when the note. When you read the note, but no, he just like. In the, in the life departed heart. Um, I'm I'm sorry, guys. You're both honor banned. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to honor ban you. You guys know how it works. Please, please respect the honor ban, because otherwise the system just falls apart. Um. <laughs> sorry. Um. Okay. So that was uh, the famous Silent Hill Two villain Triangle Face. Um, he's become like really synonymous with the series, but as I said in the last stream, he should only really be in this one. Oh, I don't like this. This is very uncomfortable, and I want to leave this room. Is that all? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now it's unlocked. Okay, I want to go back to the roof. I don't think Triangle Face is going to be up there anymore. Um. was a notepad or something up here. I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I'm not going to read this one in a dumb voice because this one's actually like really sad. Uh, May 9th. Rain. Started off, stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th. Still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know. I'm pathetic. Weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 9th, 11, rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. I'm not only better when I'm drugged than who- If I'm only better than when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside today. The doctor told me I've been released. That I've got to go home. I... The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? So... Yeah. Um, sickness is like another big theme with Silent Hill 2. And... Uh, I'm not going to get into any of the late game shit, but there's some really heartbreaking stuff there, and we'll get to it, but I guess if you're going to be here for all these streams, like, it's it's worth remembering that diary entry. It's not, like, it's not Mary's diary entry, it's just kind of parallels some of the shit she was feeling, and it's, it's sad as shit, honestly. Oh, I haven't tried down there, actually. Um, you forgot to check out the blood numbers, Jucho ninety eight. Uh, where were they, Jucho? If you wouldn't mind saying, were they? Were they? It was. Were they in the? Were they on the roof or were they in the soft rooms? You know, the padded rooms. Guys, a lot of new followers tonight. Just want to say thanks to everyone for joining. I, I super appreciate it. You know, streams like video, like YouTube and video essays, that's kind of my thing, and it, it kind of always will be. But I do like to do these streams from time to time. And like, I'm not going to be going back to like super weekly after October because I have some fucking huge videos that I want to get done for the end of this year, and that's going to take up a lot of time. But I do really appreciate, you know, people just stopping by and stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy them because like, I really like doing them, you know. Back where you fell. Okay, cool. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. 
Oh shit, no, I'm back here. I'm beginning to think that maybe I misunderstood and you actually mean where James falls down into as opposed to where he falls from. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I don't see any blood numbers down here. Okay, yeah, let's head back there. Back where you landed. In the room that made you uncomfortable. Yeah, I thought so. something written on the wall. Eight. Turn, turn, turn. The numbers better not forget them, so I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. Eight, five, three, three is what that says. Is that stored in our memos? I think it is. Uh, just to say guys like if you notice me going around in circles or I miss something absolutely feel free to say it because I'm I, I much prefer when we're like going through the story and stuff as opposed to like when we're just kind of running around blindly as much as I like shooting the shit I think it's just I have more fun so backseat gaming 100% fine for this stream like just go for it This room? Yes, it was. 8533? Hell yeah! What we got? What we got? Huh? Do we need to use something else? There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There's a few hairs inside. I got a piece of hair. So I think that's a pretty good indication that James maybe isn't all there. That maybe there's something just, just a little bit not fucking right with James. That he's like, I am going to take this piece of hair with me. Um, I don't remember what room we needed that for, but I know I think we combined that with a needle. Let's just give it a little save in case we get any unwanted crashes. Shower room. It was in the shower room. Okay. So now we combine that with this. And we get this little cutscene of James going fishing. He's just going fishing. Hell yeah, buddy. You do your thing, James. You go fishing. He needs comfort, you know? And what do we got? I got an elevator key. Awesome. Uh, uh, and there's an elevator right there. Oh, I think I remember this bit. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, now we're in here. Shit's broken. Let's get that. Oh, that, what a... What a pleasant hallway to walk down that's fine that's totally fine 
No issues there at all. Quick save button. I did not know it had a quick save button. Can we just save any time? <laughs> we fucking can! Okay, good to know. Okay. Got some handgun bullets. We got anything else? Okay, just a room with some bullets in it. It's fine by me. What is that? Oh, not this fucking asshole. Oh, but that song, that song. Laura? Oh shit, the sound's looping. Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about shit. Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. with Mary. We met at the hospital. Uh, it was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... Uh, Z-Matrix, yeah, I do know how to fix it, but we're gonna have to quit out. I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait, there's something I gotta get. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? <gasps> I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes. Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. This is all fine. This is all totally fine. James is right to go into the mysterious room with the little ghost girl. Laura! That fucking asshole!